Okay, so you're a new director. One of the things you need to think through is hands-on science and art logistics. So do you have space in your facility to have kids come out of their classrooms to another location to do science and art? If you don't have space for that, we're going to talk I about your options here. in a minute. If you do have space, how big is it? Will it take two classes at once, or do you have two smaller spaces that you can have two classes come to at the same time? Um, you also need to think through how many classes are going to be doing science at the same time. I recommend either one class going at a time or two, depending on how many classes you have. Even if you have eight classes, you can have two going at the same time and still get through all the classes in the morning. That allows you to have either only one set of science stuff or two. So it lets you buy way less science materials if you have people shuffling through. That does require that you, the director, make probably, you're going to need to make the schedule for all the classes to make sure they're getting through science at the right times. So that's what I do for my community. I have eight classes this year. So I had to make the schedule so that they would come to science at the right times. Okay, so if you have a place for the classes to come to, then you can set that up in the morning. You might be able to revisit it during the morning to be, you know, refreshing things, cleaning off things, assisting as you need to. Um, that is an easier option. I have done that most years, but actually last year my tutor said, can we just keep doing it in our classrooms? And I was like, really? Okay. Um, some of the things they were thinking about is the time that it takes to line everybody up and walk down the hall. And our facility has a very long hall. So the time it took to like line everybody up and then get reset back up in the science space ate a good solid five minutes. And you know that we really don't even have five minutes to spare. Our morning is so, so tight. Um, so that is a precious, precious five minutes. It is worth it if your community feels like that's what's best. So that's fine if you want to do that. But my, my community has decided that they would rather just stay in the classrooms and have those, those moments, um, like basically get rid of the transition time. So yes, it can provide a good change of scenery, which a lot of people really like. So I think there's pros and cons to both. You can do something one year, not do it the next. You can change mid-year, which is what we did last year you're good. It is totally fine, whichever one you do. So if you have it in your classroom, you have several ways to kind of accomplish that. You can still have two classes going at the same time. That's what I do. I, I have two science. Uh, so last year I used bags. So that's what I was going to talk about. Last year I had a bag. Um, they were identical bags that I filled with all the science stuff. So they would pick up a bag when it was their science time, take it to their room, unload it all, get it all set up. Um, <clears throat> This year, so sometimes that eats up a lot of time and pretty often supplies would get accidentally left in a classroom and so then the next class would be like, where's the blah 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 that I need? And we'd be like running around looking for that missing item. So this year, I think it's going to help that I bought rolling carts, okay? These are familiar looking. A lot of people have these in their home. This one actually folds. If you go on Amazon and just search for folding rolling cart, you'll find this one. This one folds flat, th this flat, which will help me because I am not allowed to leave anything at my facility. I have to take it all home. So because it folds, I'll be able to take it home. Okay, so using a cart, what I'm hoping for this year is that I'll have the materials laid out much nicer. Things won't need to get set on countertops where they're gonna get left behind. I'm hoping this helps, um, but everything will be much more organized and visible for the tutors to use. So those are just some different options and ways that you can accomplish science. I definitely recommend only doing one or two classes at the same time so that you can buy those less supplies. And then you're thinking through you know, how many classes are doing science at the same time? Are they coming to a science place or are they doing it in their classrooms? If they're doing it in their classrooms, how are they getting the science materials from each other? So on that last note, I have to be very clear with my tutors, like, please watch the clock. Make sure that the science cart for this year is back out in the hall right on time for the next class. And 
last year I didn't designate, you know, that these three classes pick up this science bag and these three classes pick up this one, but this year I'm going to. I'm going to have a list on the cart that says this is for Stacy, Amy, and Laura, and in this order, and that way if something is missing, they know whose class to go to to find it. I think that's going to really help because nobody's perfect. I'm sure things are still going to get left behind sometimes, but that will help, I think, because they'll be able to say, okay, Miss Laura had it last. Let me run to her classroom and see if I can find this missing whatever that I, that I need. And it will also help them if the cart is not out in the hall, they'll know where, you know, after the first few weeks, they'll memorize that list and they'll know whose classroom has it. So no system is perfect. The segments are only 30 minutes long. We do eat up some minutes doing things that aren't the actual curriculum, but we're just doing our best. So be free flowing, just, you know, work on, keep tweaking things. Um, never feel like you have settled on something that will always and forever and always work. So be open to changing things and be open to accommodating tutors when you can. So that's my best advice and good luck.